All right, everyone. I still feel the need to just get in the groove, getting an LP rhythm. So fresh off of doing the original Mega Man, I'm doing the next Zelda game. Already toasted the NES one, so it's now to move on to what I consider the fifth greatest video game ever made. Yeah, it's only number five. Anyway, what the hell? It's been ages since I. <sighs> Really? I honestly had no idea that thing was there. Honestly. I don't know what my brother was doing last time I let him have this cart. Thankfully, the little dipshit for his quasi speedrunning fantasy dreams, whatever, getting doing the big time on Twitch or whatever. I got him the Super Famicom version, so hopefully he won't ever be bothering me again. Yeah, 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 telepathic contact from the princess, blah, 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 da, 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 I tell you, this might not seem like a big deal now, the way the this game started, but this was pretty groundbreaking, the way it introduced us to Link's world back then. I mean, it's nothing special now, now that you got fancy cutscenes and shit, but... Okay. Gotta get reacclimated with the controls. Also, it doesn't help that I don't have any weapons or anything, except for that. Yeah, but just starting off with a telepathic message from Zelda and just stepping out and seeing the rain effects and shit. Yeah, it was pretty awesome back then. What are you doing up this late, kid? You can stay up when you're grown up now. Go on. Yeah, you really can't explore anything else until you finish off the first part, so... Yeah. It's a lot more cinematic, I guess. A lot more atmospheric, but the trade-off is you don't get the go-anywhere-do-anything feel of the NES games. Hey, hey, you're not allowed in the castle, son. Go home and get some sleep. Basically, if you dither around long enough, you get another message from Zelda telling you about a hidden entrance in the garden, and it's up here. Of course, if you do the speedrun shit, you don't really wait for that. It's like, God damn, Uncle! I'll leave you for two minutes, you get, like, pneumonia and shit. I wonder if it's caused by... his case is caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae. And nasty little alpha hemolytic strep. Short on magic power. Okay, okay. B button. It's been a very long time since I played this, but I'm confident. Uh, I'll get back in the groove, because. I went through this so many times as a wee lad. Of course, when I rented it four times to complete the damn thing, I didn't pick up my own copy till much later. Uh. Do that right off the bat. Ah, uh, ah, uh, thought he, I'd be hidden from view, but nope. Uh huh. Oh, you assholes. Now let him get me. Yeah, the enemy AI isn't too bright. Kind of like in Middle Gear 2 and shit. <laughs> Metal Gear 2. That's that's another one I gotta do sometime. Really. Some old school Konami goodness on the MSX. Okay, I can't go up. I only go up after I get Zelda. Yeah, let me read just my mic. Can you hear me now? Too bad, because my voice is probably fucking annoying. <laughs> Could he use the stairs, but why not? Okay, give me some time, guys. It's it's gonna come back to me. Anyway, let me... okay, the path down should. Thank you. 
I think I go up here. Dun, 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 dun. And I fucking missed, because of course I did. At least the guys with the short shorts don't chase you, but this asshole will. <sighs> Alright, this is what I was looking for. Thank you. Alright, got a map. Okay. Press X. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it doesn't show the rest of the dungeon yet when you gotta come back and fight Aghanim. Okay. And catch him unawares. Go cool. bye bye. Yeah, and it's like cartoony just fluttering midair for a moment. Makes me wonder it's like people who complained about the cartooniness of Wind Waker when that was first revealed. It's like do you f people have such short fucking memories? I mean, this really didn't go for realistic style, now did it? Uh, but then again, people whine about the stupidest things. I mean, it's worse with the Sonic fandom. I mean, yeah, there were legitimate gripes about Sonic 2006, but the kissy thing, really, we're still arguing about that a decade later, when there was so much other dumb shit you had to go through just to get to that five-second part of one cutscene. Ugh. Anyway, is there gonna be another Sonic game? There's something called Sonic Mania coming, right? I haven't been really keeping up with the news. It's basically just another 2D downloadable. I don't know, that could be good. I mean, I, I played the shit out of Sonic 4. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, it was super nostalgic. It's like a lot of, drew a lot from the Genesis games, but the Sonic fan base is so goddamn whiny. Sega probably wasn't confident of doing anything else. I mean, it's safe to say that because of the whiny ass Sonic fandom, Sega doesn't really have the courage to just have an idea and stick with it. Which is too bad, cause oh, got him already. Because I kind of like Sonic Unleashed. But some of the better ideas were incorporated into colors. I still have to play that in. Okay, here. Hey, baby. Isn't there a trick where you can, like, duplicate Zelda and just beat the game in ten minutes? I'll have to try that sometime. Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I've got 13 rupees so far. Yeah, breeze through the shit in ten minutes and get double pussy from Zelda. I mean, that's that's can't argue with that. You know, some say that it's just not old school gaming unless you got a CRT TV. But I'm digging this right now on my Retron Five, pumping it out in perfect HD. And by the way, yes, I am playing it on a Retron Five. There's two reasons for that. Even though I have a Super NES and and a Frame Meister. Okay, well, what was one reason? Oh yeah. <sighs> my my Elgato, the software system I have set up. Somehow, sometimes when I record a video, it'll turn to shit. It'll just be an just a friggin' mess. It's just unusable. So in case that happens, I'm gonna... I like to record in 30 minute chunks, and then chop that up into two halves afterwards to upload for the LP. So I'm not save scumming or any shit like that. I don't have to for this game. And I didn't have to when I used my Retron 5 for Zelda 2 and Mega Man. It's just in case the video just comes out so garbled, it's useless. I can use the internal save states. In case there's bad guys, just... Alright, off 
to the throne room. Another reason is it's just really convenient. I got my Retron 5 out here next to my PS3. go. Uh, I have to kill fucking rats. Uh, what did the rats ever do to me? They're so cute and they're so cuddly. Yeah, might as well. Seriously, though. Rats are the best damn pet ever. Their vet bills don't cost a fortune. They're normally very quiet. They're very intelligent, they bond with you. What's not to love? Well, sometimes when you let them run around in your room and they climb up on your bed, they'll kind of piss on the sheets, if you're not careful. Oh shit. I get my ass kicked over here. Friggin' ropes. Gibby, 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 gibby. Oh, that was easily remedied. So here we are, just playing some Zelda A Link to the Past. One of the absolute greatest games ever made. I mean, I cannot sing its praises enough. I mean, even when I finally got to play Ocarina of Time, I still thought it kind of paled in comparison to this. One reason was, this has, what, 11 dungeons? Compared to how much, like, 8 or 9? In, in Ocarina of Time, and... And when you go into a dungeon in a Zelda game like this, you're really thinking, Oh, what kind of item am I get now? It's like, ooh, what kind of cool gear can I add to my arsenal? I mean, there was so much stuff to get in this game. I mean, just look at how big this subscreen is. You, got, you gotta fill all that up. I just wasn't feeling that excitement all that much when I went into a new dungeon in Ocarina of Time. I just... Oh. Duh. But that's just a personal break for me. I still like Ocarina of Time a lot. I consider it the third best Zelda game I've ever played. Okay, number two would be Majora's Mask, and... Number one, uh, this is number one. Number four would easily be Link's Awakening, because I think between that and Ocarina of Time, you have some of the best storytelling in.